Hey guys, welcome back to another Test and Tune video. Now, this one's going to be pretty basic. I'm unboxing a VVDI Proc. Now, the reason I thought I'd do this video is there's really not a lot of information from English-speaking people about these VVDI tools. I've had mixed results with my VVDI BIM tool, um, but I've gone for the Prog as well, just to try and sort of fix the problems or issues that I can't fix with the VVDI BIM tool. Um, and yeah, I thought maybe somebody might be interested in seeing what you get for your money when you buy a VVDI Prog. And legit, the first time I've opened it, that's how it came packed. I mean, there's a hole for it, but it wasn't in the hole. And we've also got those two boards there. So that's the unit itself. This is what it is. That is a chip adapter, as is that. Let's see what other parts you get with it. Okay, looks like we get the USB cable. Now I had that same purple USB cable with my, hopefully you can see me, with my VVDI Prog, and it failed pretty quickly. I've had to use an, a generic USB cable, which works fine. We have an ECU reflash cable. We have an MC912 cable and a another MCU reflash, reflash cable version 3 obviously with a lot less connectors on there so that's what you get in the box for your money. I did get a few other adapters which I might talk about in separate videos but let me get the software installed, we'll fire it up just see what it's like to use. Okay. Okay, so some time has passed uh, getting the software installed. We don't really install it, you just run it from the downloaded file. Um, but to get it to run on the Windows machine, I did have to disable Windows Defender and the Windows virus protection stuff, and then unzip the downloaded file. Um, trying to turn it off after unzipping the file just caused it not to work. But what I am doing, I've connected it to a CAS 3 Plus CAS module, we're wired in, and it's just reading the flash. In fact, it's doing a verify of the flash, um, which is, it takes a little while. However, it definitely reads a lot faster than my R270 board used to. Um, super impressed with using this compared to an R270 once I've got it all set up. Even the quality of the wire that you solder onto the board, like I started soldering like three weeks ago, and this was, oh, it was almost easy. It was easy to get these connections. Um, yeah, okay, it's just verified the flash. I'm just gonna go and save this flash. And what I am actually gonna do, I'm doing a bit of testing at the moment. Cracked flash. The flash that's on here, I have actually removed part of the CAS3 protection from, and I did it in a car. What I wanna do is actually load the original unprotected CAS flash which I should be able to find in here. Now it's actually an R271, so let me go into my R270 backups, which are here. It's James's E92, and what I wanna do is download or upload the original flash. Now I have verified that these flash files are correct. It is, where is it? It is the bin 512 kilobytes. All right, let's see if VVDI Prog will load a flash that come from R270. So write, continue to write, yes. Okay, it's writing. So the speed it's writing at is about the speed the R270 reads at, which is much slower than the speed the VVDI Prog read at. All right, I'm gonna let that go through and I'll come back to you guys when we're coming up to the... Actually, I'm just gonna throw in this little bit in the middle. Um, it's not reading at the moment, I've just disconnected it, but VVDI Prog is, it's a BDM chip reader, I guess. So what it's, well, the way that they've set the software up, touchpad's gone funny. The way they've set the software up is you've got five or six different, well, actually 10 different categories of what you can be looking at. I'm on a mobilizer. If we go to MCU and then you've got a 
basically select the type of ECU. It's got all the options there. Uh, or you can go into like dashboard, BMW E-Series Renew and connection diagram. And it shows you how to connect. I oh, know that is that is not the dashboard. That is the remote. You go dashboard. Oh, there's no BMW dashboards. There you go. But basically it lists all of the manufacturers, models, and then the types that you can actually access. It tells you the chip type, Toyota Camry airbag chip, and then it tells you how to connect to it using the supplied cable. And basically all that you can do with this is take a dump of the data on the chip. So read the EEPROM basically, and you then need to load that into another piece of software. And I guess they really aim it at VVDI2 to modify it, change kilometers, add keys, change ISNs, that sort of stuff. But yeah, VVDI prog is what actually connects to the chips. Okay, so it's just coming to the end of the flash. We'll just see if it confirms it. Oh, yeah. Operation success down the bottom. Cool. Right, we have flashed the original flash of a CAS module that is encrypted with ISTA-P back onto it. Okay, what I'm going to do from this point is basically hook up a VVDI BMW or BIM tool and then see if this is still encrypted and if it still works. So give me a few minutes. Okay, so let's get BIM tool loaded up and we'll see if the... CAS module, which I've just put back together, is encrypted again. And when it loads... Okay, so I do have a key in there. Uh, and I think it'll tell me the key that's in there. I think. Yeah, I think it'll tell me the key that's in there, but it won't tell me, or it won't allow me to... No, it won't. And we'll go CAS key learn. Connect. connected to the CAN bus. Okay, it has read the key, but where it will have a heart attack is if I go get key info, which would work before, it should now tell me it's encrypted. Warning, update firmware for CAS version, CAS stop working. Okay, so that's what it needs to do to get access to the CAS again. So loading that flash on with VVDI progs worked. VVDI prog is good. Definitely easier to use than my R270, and the quality of the wire is actually better. Like, it's easier to solder those wires. Again, I'm new to soldering. I could be making an absolute twat of myself. But VVDI Prog is good. I think uh, we can end this video off here. Thank you for watching a quick test and tune video. If you've got any questions about VVDI Prog, hit me up in the comments. If you're thinking about buying it and you want me to check something on the software, just let me know and I can do that because I know that uh, the customer service is pretty crap. Anyway, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.